I'm excited because in this video, I'm gonna show you my favorite Photoshop plugins for portrait editing. Over the past year, I've been using Retouch for me to edit my skin in less than one minute by using the heel to remove blemishes, the dodge and burn for my skin retouching, and portrait volumes to add that depth and dimension. But now Retouch for me has improved by adding a new plugin called Color Match for awesome color grading. So in this video, I'm gonna give you an in-depth look on how to use Color Match to extract and apply a color grade from any image you like and how you can save it as a LUT for future use. Let's go ahead and cover todo el pelo. For this first image, this is done entirely with retouch for me from the skin retouching to the color grade. So this is what the before and after looks like, but let's build it from scratch. This is what the heel did. If I zoom in, this is removing the blemishes, the dodge and burn, which does a little bit of skin retouching, portrait volumes for that depth and dimension. Now, if you wanna know more about dodge and burn, and some of these skin retouching plugins. I've already made a video about it. I'm gonna have that linked in the description. But now let's look at what the new one does, the color match. If I hit the eyeball here, this is the image that I referenced and the colors that I captured. And then this is the image that uh, I referenced, which was the background. This is from Keedron Franklin 924 Photography. And I wanted some richer yellows and oranges for the background. But this time though, I did a layer mask so it's only on the background. So let me show you how retouch for me works with the new color match. So I'm gonna delete those color grading layers. I'm gonna press Command Option Shift E to make a merged copy. And I'm gonna to go to filter retouch for me, color match. And as soon as this loads, I am going to use my reference. So we're gonna start off with reference first. So I'm gonna put load reference. And it's very important when you're creating your referenced images that they match the actual scene that you have. So in other words, if I'm doing natural light, you should be getting natural light photographs. You're not gonna be choosing a night photograph or somebody that's using off-camera flash. The lighting should match. So if I'm using an image that I want color graded that's golden hour and it's off-camera flash, then I should be finding an image referenced that is off-camera flash, golden hour, so things can match up. But also important is that you get all your images and you put them in a folder. So here I made a folder, retouch for me, reference images. And here I've put all of my images, Kedron Franklin, my friend Ron, and some of my images that I've also taken as well. And the reason why you wanna do that, let me go ahead and show you. I'm gonna reference this image, by the way, I'm gonna hit open, is that I get my referenced image. And what if maybe I don't like that one? Well, I can hit this arrow and I can cycle through everything within that folder. So anything that you find, whether it's on Pinterest, your favorite photographers online, you are going to reference it and put it in that folder and save that JPEG there so you can cycle through to make it easier. Now, I know you might be thinking, Eli, this looks like overkill. Like I need to make some adjustments. Well, guess what? In this dialog box, we have the blending here. So I wanna bring this blending down from 100 to maybe around 56 is good. The luminance, I'm gonna bring it down to about 58. So I'm gonna bring it down just a little bit more, see if I can bring it up, 59 is fine. The colors, I feel like it's a little bit too saturated. I'm gonna bring that down to somewhere reasonable. 57 looks good. And I'm gonna use a smoothening slider to get it right around 51 is perfect, all right? So if I look at the image, if I hit the space bar, it'll show me the before and then the after, before and then the after. And I thought it did a great job already. So what I wanna do is I wanna hit apply here and I'm gonna break down more things that this can do. We got our reference image, which I'm gonna show you first. Then I'm going to get into the LUT manager where you can use some of the online free LUTs uh, available and then also how to export it as a LUT in a moment. So I'm going to go ahead and hit apply. And so I already like that color grade to start off. Like I think it looks great before, after. But there's one thing I want to improve this little sunset back here. I want more richer colors. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press command option shift E on the keyboard. And what I want to do is I want to go to filter, retouch for meme color match, and this is just optional. This was just me looking at the background saying like, man, I want that to be more rich. I can go to load reference, and what I wanna do is I wanna reference 924 Photography, his awesome color grade on the background there. So I'm gonna hit open, and what it's going to do is that it's gonna add an additional color grade on there, and you'll see that now I have something that is a little bit more rich on the background here. But there's only one problem, is that it's doing it to the subject. Now this is where I'm gonna use some Photoshop uh, techniques here. I'm gonna go to Select, Subject, and once it's detected the subject, I'm gonna make sure 
that I invert by clicking this button here and hit the layer mask option so that the color grade is only on the background. So you'll see here in white is the color grade that I got from Keydron Franklin back here with these nice little oranges and it's not affecting the subject. So if I click here, this is the before and then the after, before, after. And if I feel like it's too much, we still have the power and flexibility, ladies and gentlemen, to go into opacity and bring this down if I wanted to. The same thing with the other color grade. If I feel like it's too much, I can always bring it down to somewhere like 75. So if I look at the overall before and after, this is a before, and then the after completely done with retouch for me. Now I wanna show you how to make a custom cube LUT that you can save. So in this image, this is a photograph I've taken. You'll see that I've already done my skin retouching plugins already, but now I wanna do Command Option Shift E to make a merged copy. And then I'm gonna to go to Filter, Retouch for me, and I wanna go back to Color Match. And what I wanna do is I want to reference an image. So I'm gonna go back to Load Reference, and I'm gonna use an image from my friend Ron. He's a great photographer. And I love this color grade, and I wanna apply this as a reference. So I'm gonna go ahead and double click this one and you'll see that I have it as a reference. Now, if I needed to, of course, I could adjust the blending. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And I maybe wanna adjust the colors a little bit and the smoothening. And I'm gonna bring down the luminance as well. Now, one thing I wanna emphasize, guys, is always reference images with similar techniques. So his was outdoors, mine's outdoors. We have a sunset, blues in the background, I have browns. You don't wanna be grabbing random images because then the reference is not gonna work out that great. So at the bottom, once I've already done this, you'll see here it says export LUT. So now instead of just hitting apply, I'm gonna go to export LUT. And what this is gonna allow me to do is that it's gonna allow me to save it. So I'm gonna make a folder LUTs and we're gonna talk about why that's important in a moment. So make sure that what I would do anytime you wanna export a LUT is make a folder and save all of them in there. And then I'm gonna name this LUT and it saves it as a cube file. So I'm gonna name it Ron Besteam, okay? And it saves it as a cube file. What's great about this is that this works in Photoshop, but also if you're a video, video editor and you uh, color grade in Premiere Pro, you can use those as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit save. And now what I can do is if I go down to this adjustment layers icon and I go to color lookup, what I can do is right here, it says load 3D LUT. I'm gonna go load 3D LUT. And if I go to my desktop, I go to my LUTs folder, I can go ahead and apply my Ron Bestie LUT there. And now I have that. So I, what's cool is that I can apply this to multiple images. I can turn this into an action where this color grade is automatically applied. And of course, I could always come in here and adjust the opacity if I wanna make further adjustments. So this is the before and then the after. And let's look at the overall before and after. So with the skin retouching and also with the color grade, so before, after. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make another color lookup. So I'm gonna actually hide this one and this actually refer to other ones that I've made. So color lookup, if I go over here, load 3D LUT, I wanna use my Ohio preset that I made or LUT. And now that I have that one, you'll see that I can adjust the opacity and I think right around 50. So this Ohio, a uh, lot that I made. I like this one, gives it a little bit more of those oranges, gets rid of some of those yellows there. So before, after, makes those blues a little bit richer. So you have the option, you know, you can try out different LUTs that you can create. Uh, me personally, I like both of them. I don't know, leave me a, a comment in the description below. Uh, do you like the Ron one better or do you like the Ohio one better? So this hopefully is giving you some ideas on the possibilities of what you can do now uh, with your color grading. But let me show you one more thing. Now I wanna show you the LUT manager built into Color Match. So just like before, I already have my skin retouching plugins already run. I've already made my merch copy. And I'm gonna go to Filter, Retouch for me, and Color Match. Now hopefully you should know how the load reference works. We've already covered that. I've already showed you how to export a LUT, but now down here you have something called a LUT manager. So when I click LUT manager, what you'll see is I have a couple of options, open LUT cloud, which means other people that have uploaded their own LUTs or presets already built in to the software. But on top of that, you can browse local disk. So if you remember earlier, I told you guys it was important to make a folder with your LUTs 
already in there. So if you select that folder, you'll see that I can cycle and get a preview of all of my custom LUTs that I've already made. So let's say, for example, I want to use the, hmm, let's say that I want to use the golden hour two LUT. I can double click that. And now I have that as a reference and I can make my adjustments with my color luminance and so forth, right? And so that's why it's important. But not only that, I can use these arrows to cycle through all of the custom LUTs that I've already made so I can make this a smooth, streamlined process. Now, the other thing that I wanna show you is if I go into my LUT manager here, I wanna go back to the open LUT cloud. Let's actually look at some of the custom LUTs that are already free and available to you. So what I wanna do is I wanna scroll down and I wanna to go to grading edition. I'm gonna double click that. And of course, you guys could take your time, look through all of these. But right now I'm just gonna show you basically um, how it works. And there's one that I was looking at earlier that I thought worked really well for this image. And so here I have one called SK Color Wheel Match. If I double click this one, it kind of gives it like a fall vibes, takes the greens, makes some more of the kind of brown golden tones. And of course, like I've said numerous times, we could adjust the blending here to get it just right. So here I'm gonna just bring down my colors a little bit, the luminance, and then just use the smoothening to smoothen things out. And then at that point, if I wanted to, once again, I could make this an export as a LUT so I can use this multiple times on other images. But in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and hit apply. And now I went from a color grade from this to this. And of course, I can always bring down my opacity to get it where I feel like it's balanced out just right. So 65 looks good for me. Another cool feature using color match is the ability to apply a reference image and a LUT to get the colors or find the way you want. So I'm gonna go back to color match and I'm gonna use this image here. I've already used my skin plugins to get the image where I want. And I've already applied a LUT. So you, you'll see that I went into my LUT manager, went into editor's pick and used the toning coffee. So if I put this back at a hundred, this is where it started. And then I brought down the blend of this specific LUT to about 32. Now on top of this, I also wanna load a referenced image. So I'm gonna to go to load reference and I'm gonna choose my RON2 uh, reference image. And now what I can do is I can bring down the luminance and bring down the color and smoothing. I can increase that to get it exactly where I want. So if I hit the space bar on the keyboard, this is the before and then the after. So it's just another cool way to be able to just refine the colors even more by applying a referenced image and also a LUT at the same time. And of course, you always have the ability to adjust the blending. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring down the blending for my reference image. And I wanna say about here looks great. So it just gives it a little bit of those warm tones, very similar to my reference and the coffee toning that I applied. Hit apply and there we're ready to rock and roll. Now I wanna show you how you can make a Photoshop action to completely speed up your workflow because I know you guys are probably thinking, Eli, you're having to go through the menu a lot. You're having to run all of those other plugins. Like it's a lot. Like what if I am I'm doing client work and I want to be able to edit everything and have everything done in a seamless transition. So what I did is I made a custom action, which I will give this action away for free. Okay, so it's retouch for me, color match. Now the only downside is that you have to own all four of the actions or plugins or it won't work. So I'm gonna be running let me show you my panel here. This panel's for free, by the way. You don't need it, but it's nice. Uh, the heal, dodge and burn, and I'm also gonna run portrait volumes, right? So those are the three that are already gonna be built into this action. Once again, it's not gonna work if you don't have them bought. And then I also did the color match using the color lookup and applying the cube file that we made as our own custom LUT. So I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and play this action, and I'm gonna use it on this image here. And I'll be putting the time it takes in order to run this action. Now, once again, where this is really going to come in the clutch, I do a lot of client work at my school. I work with all of the sports teams. I've mentioned it in my other videos. From time to time, I'll do client work and I need something that can streamline my workflow. Now, what was great about this retouch for me color 
um, uh, the color uh, plugin is that the color match is that that's kind of like the final piece to the puzzle, right? Because skin retouching obviously takes its time, but then color grading is usually the last step. And so here it's already done. And so what you'll see that on top of that in the action, I've also did it so that it did a select subject. So it does only the portrait values, dodge and burn and heal on the subject. So let's look at the, what it did on this image. So if I zoom in here, let's look at the heel, right? So the heel is supposed to remove the blemishes and you'll see sometimes it's not perfect, right? But that's where we can go ahead and fix it and make our adjustments and delete it if needed. Okay. Yeah, undo that. There you go. And then dodge and burn to do my slight skin retouching on the face. And then the portrait volumes to add that depth and dimension. And of course, you can always adjust the opacity. And then I've already applied a custom LUT to this one so at 60%. So this one is the Ohio preset. And you press control O. So this was the color graded at just very subtle. This one's indoors now, so it's a little bit different. It's not my typical outdoors and golden hour. And of course, if I wanted to change it, I could always change it here. And let's say I wanted it to be the bokeh uh, LUT that I made. And I can go ahead and change it to a completely different look. So overall, I'm loving the color match plugin. And the main thing that I see myself using it for is to create my own custom LUTs because that's going to speed up my workflow. Now that I'm going to utilize this action, man, I'm going to be able to edit my pictures way uh, faster. Now, the other thing is, is that if you're new to retouch for me and you're maybe unsure on which plugins to get, the ones that I highly recommend, let me get back to my computer over here and let me go ahead and lift this out, is going to definitely be the heel to remove the blemishes. Uh, Dodge and burn, fantastic. Portrait volumes, if you want to save some money, you could probably do away with that one. Uh, the clean backdrop, if you do studio work, OMG, this is a time saver. And then now the color match. Those are the four that I'm like, OMG, I'm going to be using a lot. So if you want to learn more about the heel, dodge and burn and portrait volumes, once again, I have a video on that one. And I also have a video on the clean backdrop as well. And I forgot the other ones that I did, the mattifier and so forth. So I do appreciate you guys watching. Thank you for the love and support. I just reached 100,000 subscribers. I have the plaque back there. So I do want to thank you guys, those of you that have stuck with me. I do have more content coming out. So I appreciate you guys. Thank you once again. You guys have a beautiful day. And I will see you on the next one.